What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Breezy, and this is my 100 video special. Hold on, I said it's my 100 video special. The fucking docking himself. So I got some questions here I was asked. Let's get straight to it. The first question is, what's my favorite moment of the year? I probably say, I mean, I met Oprah. I met a couple people, Avery B, Bentley TV. But I probably say like the most exciting moment of the year or my favorite moment of the year is playing in the AMP takeover. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could have done better. Um, I hadn't practiced, probably picked up a basketball in about a month. I, I haven't lifted weights since like the end of school, the end of high school. But you know, I ain't get no warm up. I know I'm making excuses right now. I still score, you know. I, I wish I could have done better, but it is what it is. It's still my favorite moment of the year. Like I got to see people I'll be watching on YouTube. That was just a cool event. I got to meet like Duke Dennis, Casanet. We really got to chop it up, especially since I was in the game. And I, I see them like around too, that's cool. Like outside of the game, I'll be seeing like I'm Davis and stuff like that, just hanging around. The next question is, how do I like Atlanta? That's from my boy Ibrahim back in Nashville. If y'all couldn't tell, you know what I'm saying? I'm not in Nashville anymore. I'm in Atlanta, so yeah. Actually, check out the fresh cut too, but yeah. Um, I'm in Atlanta, if y'all didn't know. So, yeah, how do I like it? Atlanta is different. Atlanta is a whole lot more clout oriented. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Like everybody cares about their followers, their ratio. Um, it's just like, I don't know, it's different. You know, everybody got the VVs, uh, the VVs and their teeth, the freaking blinged out diamond chains. I'm like, bro, everybody got the, uh, the Cactus Jack 4s and the Off-White uh, Blue Nikes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I forgot the exact name of them, but they the Off-White Nikes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Crazy. It's just different. It's a whole culture shock. It's like living in a Lil Durk video, even though he's not even from Atlanta. I'd probably say it's more like living in a Young Thug video. But shoot, it's fun though. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, Atlanta is different, but it's still fun. I'm enjoying it so far. On to the next question. All right, the next question is, what's my biggest inspiration? I'd probably say my biggest inspiration is my parents, seeing them work hard, you know, every day to provide for me, put food on the table. Back when I was home, now they providing for me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, still, but just work, work. But just watch my parents work hard, you know, providing for me, trying their best to raise me right, stuff like that. That's inspirational, you know what I'm saying? When you got somebody that cares about you and loves you, that you just want to like make them proud so just having them knowing that they was there for me just inspires me to go out there be the best not mess up and try to you know make them proud so i probably say they my biggest inspiration but y'all probably don't want to hear that y'all probably want to hear me say like an ad lead or a rapper so i'm gonna say other than my parents probably like derrick rose that's an athlete that really inspires me um seeing derrick rose tear his acl MCL, every like cord in his leg every year and then come back, work hard, like try to win six men of the year, drop 50 points, have good games. Like that's crazy to me. Um, I know the amount of rehab you go through. I had a couple friends tear ACLs, um, MCL, stuff like that. Shout out to them. They know who they are. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, just yeah, to see uh, Derek Rose do that and come back stronger every year. As somebody who's dislocated, hella bones in their hand, and know what that recovery process is like, I couldn't imagine every year coming back, working hard, and just tearing your ACL again and again, and keep working hard, like. Like, I could understand, like, working hard, but bro, I know, I know he going through a lot, so shout out Derrick Rose for never giving up, really inspirational stuff. Um, next question is, What's my favorite video game of all time? That's the next question. My favorite video game of all time, probably NBA 2K16. You know, that was my first 2K that I played with the online servers. I used to play 2K11 with my cousins. We used to be on Blacktop, play the Michael Jordan thing on 2K11 and my career and stuff like that. But that one had no servers, no online. But 2K16, I played that when it was online. I used to be on the uh, Gauntlet thing on my team, the park. I remember my player was cold in 2K16. I used to be dunking on people, breaking ankles, making half court threes. Like I was cold on 2K16. Yeah, I'd probably say 2K16. That was the first 2K I really played for real online mode. 
So yeah, I'll probably say that one, my favorite video game. The next question is, who's my favorite YouTuber? And you know, even though I got to talk to AMP, meet them, they real cool. It's not AMP, shout out to them though. I'll probably say my favorite YouTuber is Fly Reacts. He's hella funny. He acts stupid. I don't know if he's real, really stupid. I'm gonna have to meet him, but he acts stupid. He's trash at basketball, but he just funny, bro. I don't know. He just funny. He likable. He be taking all these L's. He takes all these L's and he just take them to the chest. Like he trying, he don't really hate on anybody. So it's cool to like, it's easy to show love to somebody who doesn't hate on anybody. So I'd probably say Flight Reacts is my favorite YouTuber. Um, Next question, who my favorite athlete? I'm gonna try to give y'all one for basketball and one for football. My favorite athlete is, uh, my favorite athlete overall, probably Paul George. I've been a fan of him since like, I first started watching basketball. I used to be a big fan of LeBron. I was actually never a bigger fan of LeBron than Paul George, but nobody really cared about Paul George and people used to be hating on LeBron. So I had to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Curry is not better than LeBron. He's still not. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But LeBron is actually not my favorite player. It's actually Paul George, if y'all didn't know that. Um, Paul George is my favorite basketball player. My favorite football player, Odell. Um, I don't know what's happening to him right now. He's not in the league, unfortunately. Even though I still think he's the best receiver of all time. Unfortunately, he's not in the league, even though I still think he's the best receiver of all time. I don't know what's going on there, but um, hopefully he can get back in the NFL, get things popping again. Another common question I'm asked a lot is um, how tall am I? I'm actually 6'3 right now. Well, that's the last time I went and got measured and you know all that, I was 6'3. I might be tall, I might be like 6'4, but I'm 6'3 as of right now. That's the official height I'm telling people. You know, without my shoes, all that. I'm not one of them dudes that be boosting and stuff. I'm already over six foot. I don't got no reason to boost. So I'm six three right now. Um, um, the next question, the next question I got is, who's my favorite artist? And you already know who my favorite artist is. No smoke, no smoke. No smoke. no money. Anyway, my favorite artist is Young Boy, NBA Young Boy, Young Boy Never Broke Again, Kentrell Golden. I don't know any more names. They call him like son of Sharonda, you feel me? Father of, I don't know his child's name, I forgot. But um, young boy, my favorite rapper by far. I don't care if y'all be like young boy fans, be like, uh, like, like, bro, young boy, he, he dropped so much heat, bro, so much heat. I don't understand when people are like Lil Durk's better than young boy, but that's besides the point. Young boy, my favorite rapper. My top three feels out like Polo G, young boy, Kodak. Um, I feel like Polo G and Kodak is solid to have in your top three. Uh, some people be hating on Kodak, but I don't understand. Like, Kodak be hitting to me. Um, outside of that, all right, for the last question, I'm gonna end it off on a somewhat serious note. Uh, the last question I got here is like, what's my goals? I got actually like a, a one year goal, three year goals, and five year goals. But I'm gonna just show y'all the one year goal because I don't wanna get too ahead of myself. You know what I'm saying? One step at a time. But right now, the one year goal is just to get like 100K subscribers in a year and make about four to five thousand a month you know that's the one year goal right now hopefully i can reach it we on our way anyway let's get to the money like i said let's get to the money if you made it this far like comment subscribe i'm out peace